Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Okay, this is question number 10 on the worksheet for simultaneous equations. Okay, so I'm going to use the elimination method for this particular type of question. It just looks a little bit trickier than it is, but actually it's relatively straightforward because we're going to write 2x plus 3y equals 5p. And then with the second equation, the problem I have is I need to get the x onto the left-hand side. So I'm going to write that as minus 2x plus y equals p. Okay, so there's nothing particularly tricky about that one because then when we add those two together, what it allows me to do is to get rid of 2x plus minus 2x means that I lose my value of x. But then I've got 4y equals 6p. And if I divide through by 4, it means I get y equals 6 over 4p, okay, or if you prefer, y equals 1.5p. And then it's really just a case of using the substitution method to be able to then work out the value of x. So if I just uh, pick one of the equations, doesn't matter which one I'm going to pick, I'm going to actually just use the standard one which I have here, y equals 2x plus p, which is the one that they gave me. Now I did change it slightly before, but it's still the same equation. So I can write that as 1.5p equals 2x plus p. If I take away p from both sides, I get 0.5p equals 2x. And then I'm going to divide by 2, so I get 0.5p divided by 2 equals x. So therefore, 0.5 divided by 2 is 0.25. So in this particular case, x equals 0.25p. And that would be the answer to the question. OK, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.